ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video i hope you're doing fantastic but today we're watching quavo and chloe share some dating advice so if you're brand new be sure you subscribe drop a like we got a noble now but that don't count that's for the boozy people uh, I, I thought you bad and boozy not that bad i left the boozy at home hi i'm chloe bailey this is the goat himself and we're on goat talk with Com. wait are they are they dating i don't know guys let me know in the comments Atlanta slang. Cap. I do like cap. Cap. I vote. Wow, I gotta say, man. We gotta take that's a beautiful female, you know what I'm saying? We don't pay enough at, I feel like niggas don't pay enough attention to a female niggas, you know what I'm saying? Cap. I be cap. Just cap. Nobody, you, know? you be capping? <clears throat> a little cap. Uh oh. Goat dating advice. Goat dating advice? Mm-hmm. Be yourself. Wow. What do you say? <laughs> I would say, don't be yourself. Don't trust these hugs. <laughs> I'm just playing. What? Mm -mm -mm. You talking about yourself. <laughs> All right. Goat Gentlemen's Club. Oh. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot. Got to be magic. And then, oh, Lord. I've never been to either. Stay away. I, I've only been to one strip club for a business meeting, and it was very underwhelming. You like throwing money? No, but I want to see some beautiful bodies. We'll go to Magic. Let's go. Magic Monday, we bring in Chloe. <laughs> Coke rapper. Ooh, Coke rapper. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, well, I'm going to say multiple. I grew up really loving Kendrick Lamar, like, even like Section 80 Days. And I'll say you. <laughs> Because you would be looking at me like if I didn't say you. Okay, all right. And who do, you, who do you vote? I gotta go Jay Z. Oh, yes. Great businessman. Yeah. OG. Gonna give us some lessons and show us the way. Mm hmm. Can't forget on 3000. I appreciate that. This is pretty good, too. Go. I said Tupac. You know go what I'm actor. Ooh. Gotta be Will Smith. That's a good one. Mm, yes, because me too. I would say that. Ali is my favorite movie. Really? Mm. <laughs> okay, Denzel Washington would have to be mine. Viola Davis and Ooh. Angela Bassett. Okay. She don't get picked. Why she picking all this? Yeah, okay. Okay. they gotta be one, my nigga. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay, okay. If I had to just pick one, it would be Angela Bassett did the thing. There yes. You go. What's love got to do with it is iconic, and I think it's so hard to play another like real life person but to put your own spin to it and have it be so real and authentic is really hard and i'd have to say that there's way too many to pick from but that's my all-time favorite biopics would you do one i think so what do you want to do whoever wants me to play them okay mm -hmm. challenge myself go migo song yeah Stir fry okay whip it. we were <laughs> when we were filming and we were at the trap house we were like cooking in the big kitchen. What you doing at the trap house? We were filming at the trap house. That's where we had the argument scene. Oh, okay. I so, thought you were talking about another trap. Uh-uh. Yep. So Angelica and I, we were like, we were doing cooking. Y'all cooking stir fry? Do stir fry. Yes. Do I got to answer this question? Yes. Marco, Migo, so I got to be bad and bougie. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. My one has got to be, hmm, walk it like I talk it. Oh, knuckles. Got dump like Pablo. Hey. My skin. Okay. Mama. Goat ad lib. Oh. Mama. That's your number one go to? Mm -hmm. Is that for your mom? You just. Mama. It's so, is that for your mom? It's late. <laughs> What's your that is the I love my mom. So that's mama. for your mom? That's for my mom. That's so nice. What's the story behind the mama ad lib? The story behind the mama ad lib is she used to chase us up and down the house trying to whoop us and we make sure we call her name and say, I'm just playing, mama, I'm just playing. And she get to you say, mama, 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 mama. And Yes, Remember can. Oscar Proud and Proud Family? And exactly. you go, Mama! Exactly. Only when you're in trouble, you call her name like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, my go ad lib. What is my go ad lib? I just say. Sing? Yeah. You got tons of that? I just say yeah. Yeah? Or oh. How you say it? I sing it. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Like that. Hard. That's hard. <laughs> Goat Beyonce song. I would have to say cozy for today. Or me, myself, and I. Those are good picks. Mine's is 
ape shit. Oh, well, no, duh, because you're on it. Go gift you've ever received. Okay. I know. For Christmas, I got a Rolly. I got a Birkin. Whoa! Birkin bag Rolex. God damn! What is this bitch married to? And then I got a diamond chain necklace from my godmom. Ooh, yeah. All in one Christmas. Wow. And a Cartier bracelet. Yeah. And this diamond bracelet from my album release. This bitch is just getting money like this. Nothing. She's the best gift giver. Splurge. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the best one you've uh, received? My best gift got to be my three head Migo chain from Takeoff. He gave it, gave it to me for his birth for my birthday. Yeah. He gave me the best gifts in the world every birthday. That's a good one. So, so me. Mhm. Mm All right. Goat album. Goat album. Mhm. Mm I have to pick one. Got to pick one. <sighs> okay. The top, the one that came at the top of my head is Who Is Jill Scott. That is literally like my childhood. I would have to say any album by Khalees. I would have to say Nicky Knack by Tune Yards and my album, In Pieces. There you go. My GOAT album, I start by saying culture, and I'm going to leave it at that. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the GOAT gift you've ever given? Buying my mama a house. That's a good one. She's still talking about it on Facebook to this day. So we just show some of her Facebook tweets there and there. She crazy. <laughs> mama, I love you. Let me think. Okay, this one really meant a lot to me. I think this was like the first diamond chain I really ever splurged on for someone else other than myself. And I spent a lot of time into it and she's so picky, my gum mom. And RBB stands for like rich boss bitch. And so that was her saying. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to get it really nice and like I customized it and worked on it for a whole month and I did it nice. and she really liked it. So yeah. she got a rich boss bitch chain? Yes, yeah, it says RBB. Okay. I think I think that one. Yeah. Because I was really nervous about Rich that. Boss bitch in season. Give me some. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Goat Atlanta restaurant. I got some Goat Atlanta restaurants. Oh my god. Are you ready? What's crazy? Magic City. The strip club got Goat Atlanta wings. And you can go get your lemon pepper and see nice bodies like Chloe wanna see. Get you a hot lemon pepper with some ranch. Um we got no boo now, but that don't count. <laughs> That's for the bougie people. Uh, I, I thought you bad and bougie. I'm just bad. I left the bougie at home. If I had to pick, it's not like a restaurant, but it's a dessert spot. Cineholics. Oh, yeah. She loves Cinebons. They have one in L.A. and Atlanta. <laughs> it's yeah, like my favorite, and I already ordered some today. Cinnabon. Goat gospel song. We fall down, <laughs> we get up. I would have to say, take me to the king, tear my man. What's that? Take me to the king. I don't have much to bring. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I like that. I know I had that before, but. Okay. Sorry, guys. You saw me? Yes. Right. Go Disney song. Part of your world. What song is that? <laughs> Who's my sister? Little Mermaid. Thank you. Okay. Um, I was gonna say um, "Under the Sea" by Okay Larry the Lobster, right? Goat sneaker. Oh, oh, it was your turn. Thank but you. I'll do it again. I love my Dior white sneaks and my Chanel white sneaks because they go with any of my good jeans. But it gives a little sure. rich. Bitch. Not like a high piece shoe here, but my goat sneaker got to be the white. Air Force One. That's all, that's all I was going to say, man. Or just like some clean, like, um, maybe like the Travis Scott's as well, you know? Because I got my gift from a special person. Or even Converse, too, you know? Converse is nice. Goat scene from Praise This. You got to be when Ty shows Sam to the studio and he kind of like, Start feeling her, and then she took us off. You can't spoil the movie. Oh, oh my bad. <laughs> and I like that scene. I think that's one of my favorites. I love when we break out in praise dance after our first competition song. Well, I got another scene. That painted duck scene is crazy. Oh yeah, that's my other favorite yeah, one. That, that painted duck scene was crazy. Yeah, I think it's a goat movie overall. Goat Missy Elliott video. 
Oh, there's too many. I would have to say told you if we ever made one, and I do love One Minute Man. My goat one is um Can't Stand the Rain. Oh yes, that's yeah. that's the number. I actually have to change I do that one. That's my favorite one. Then. Goat <laughs> party you've been to. The gold party oh, every that, year. I know you Dude, I've I stopped going to parties since I was in high school, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the last time I've been to a party. And I'm going to end the video there. If you're still watching your gold, I love you. Be sure you subscribe and check out my other videos too. I love you. Or take care of yourself, guys. And make sure you'll be happy and I'm out.